Yeah, he lives really far. Like an hour half to drive oh, about with no traffic. Yeah, he has to go through like the dead of LA, and that's that's not fun. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to him, man. Traveling, going out to more stuff. I feel like SoCal in general has just been coming out to more stuff, so that's good. After your call out saying, yay, SoCal's yeah. actually a resident sleeper right now. <laughs> Dang, I mean. Everyone's I, I always like SoCal's Pog Champ. Like, ah. I, I, had to, I had to do it to him, man. I, yo, you, you did? And it's like, by no means do I actually, do I think that SoCal does not have the talent. There's, there's like two de very different things, like perspectives on that like oh, no. I definitely think SoCal has the resources and has the talent it's just everyone was lazy right and sure. not and not everyone was like super like lazy but I, I definitely think that they can put, put in, in more, more effort, yeah. yeah of regional in our state and none of SoCal was in top eight so that's a little bit yeah all right so we have T-Day oh I've seen it a few times with Dr. Mario okay I've seen him play every now and then Flaming Hot Vegitos though I have not <laughs> yo <laughs> I actually have not seen him play that's a hype name it's kind of funny because he's playing the monkey too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Doc versus Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong definitely seeming, seems like the most popular heavy that I seem for the most part in bracket. I think because people like the mobility. Yeah. Like, a lot of the good characters in this game, just very similar to Smash 4, are very fast and very mobile and have quick hitboxes. Donkey Kong still has a lot of his quick hitboxes from Smash 4. He just does have access to killing Demon Donkey. Right. Even like the tilts are pretty quick too. Yeah, it, it's very surprising. When I talk to a lot of melee players too, they um, a lot of them like Donkey Kong. Interesting. That's I, yeah, that's, that's that's that was a weird one. That's actually a weird one. Yeah, like not every melee player likes yeah. Donkey Kong, but like I've talked to a decent amount of melee players, and a majority of them enjoy Donkey Kong, which is just like really uh, interesting to me. I'm trying to think what are, what are the similarities, I, like how melee plays. I have no idea. That? That's interesting, actually. Yeah, it is, it is very interesting. But right now, T-Day, not doing so hot, man. Three stocks here on Flamin' Hot Vegitos. Doesn't seem to be able to, like, knock this kill out, and that's going to be a problem because right now he's only at, like, what, was that? Wow, 132? <laughs> yeah, a lot. That move got buffed. Yeah. So it move. doesn't have as... So the tornado actually rises about a decent amount. So if Smash Bros. Luigi's tornado, Doc could actually go about half the height. Wow, it's pretty it's impressive. Re it's pretty good, and it kills... Really early. Yeah, I've seen characters die as early as early as like 50. I was thinking maybe Donkey Kong would survive, but that was like not even close. Yeah, no, he, he got just disappeared from the screen. So good job, Matita, bringing us back and actually taking lead. <laughs> as I say that, hill to fair. I have not seen that one. Yo, T Day turning it up though. Wow, yeah, I mean pill to four. To my knowledge, the longer the pill travels, the more hits on it has. Really, man. I, that's what I've heard. I'm not super sure, but that seems, I've heard someone say that. That seems weird because I don't know if there's any projectile in this game that increases knockback as it travels. Or like, yeah, just hits on or knockback. Yeah, yeah, very, very interesting. Like I said, I'm not too sure. My sources were just like someone just telling me. Yeah, that's fair enough. I know that pills are really good in this game. They have a, so they're not. Even, they have like. A lot more not stun, hit stun, I guess. Yeah, hit stun. Yeah, I, I know you can uh, combo them into smash attack and stuff. So the the pill into the fair was not too surprising, especially on a character like DK. You know, your your general combos are going to be bigger than usual. And man, right now, T Day is just keeping the pressure up. You can't right now. Flaming Hot Vegito just can't get back onto the ground. Yeah, he did a really good job with getting just keeping T Day off. Well, I guess he just kind of found his flow and started getting on. Getting on Flaming Hot Vegito is not letting him breathe as, see, I think that was Nair Detect Chase down smash? Oh, wow, another one? Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah, that he was, was looking for, oh, he, okay, I thought he lost the double. Oh, okay, it. yeah, he's dead. Wow, and just like that, T-Day getting a little too greedy off stage. I feel like. He uh, killed himself with that air dodge. Yeah. If he didn't air dodge, he would have got hit by the, the Whirling Kong. Yeah, you're the right. Cover. Yeah? Yep. Wow. And just like that, I mean. Just a little mishap off stage, and that's the scary thing about going off stage, right? Like you can you can definitely nail the kill, but if any kind of mistakes happen on your end, you could just die yeah. at any percent. Edge guarding is a little double edged sword in the game. It's so good because if you gimp them, they die. But if you get reverse gimps, it doesn't help, especially because two framing now, you lose your double jump, regardless if you saved it or not. It's yeah. just it's just gone. Mm -hmm. So unless Which I really like. I yeah, it's know. a really cool it's nice. Yeah, because it's like, dude, you nailed a two frame. That's like pretty hard. <laughs> it throws an actual risk of just jumping off stage and trying to hit someone. Because mm -hmm. if they get back first and then you're still stuck out there, then you run the risk of dying for it. So. Man, and no bias, but I, I, I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of upset because T-Day did such a good job of bringing that game back. It was such, so yeah, behind. He, and he had the momentum. Yeah, he had, had all the momentum. Just one tiny missed space in this play, and he, he lost it. But we are here at game two, and again, I mean, T 
T-Day, you know, just keep the momentum up that he had from game number one. Even, I mean, regard disregarding that SD, but I mean, wow, yeah. just taking the first dog very handily. Yeah, he is kind of figured out flaming off Vegito's because he's like he loves the bear. Donkey Kong's bear is a good move, but he kind of is just throwing the aerials out with that a lot. Yeah, double bear received from the short hop with the hard drift in. I mean, wow, Donkey Kong can kind of drifts pretty far. Yeah, he has a really, I guess that's another reason why he's a popular heavy, because he has really good mobility for being a heavy. Mm -hmm. Very good air drift. Okay, let's see if we can close the stock out up to up air. Oh, but the jab going to come out from T-Day, and oh, but now he's got a grab, and Mario with those grabs. Oh, wow. Even extending it with the pill as well. Such a good reset. So, what I don't see a lot of people, I'm not sure if it's a 100% true combo, but I know the DI in, Dr. Mario can actually do down throw with the sweet spot up B. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that that's crazy. I've, oh, I've seen it happen multiple times, and I've done it a few times myself. Yeah, so. that, that's super solid. Yeah, really Especially good. if you catch them at the ledge, they probably will actually die really early. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. So. I wonder if Fair would have connected there. Like Fair definitely would have killed. I feel like him. he did. Cause yeah, Flame Hunter Gito looks like he's dying a lot of these moves in. Mm -hmm. He's not really flying anywhere. He's just kind of falling into this move. Ooh. Oh, there's a. Oh wow. That look. That looked true. Yeah, that looked definite. Definite sour spot there. Oh, okay. This is that, I know that the the dash tag bear is true. If yeah. you got a sweet spot bear, maybe it would. Oh wow. Okay. Get off me, man. Yeah. Sure you can. Oh. Ooh, I like the up tilt instead of like maybe the grab might have not connected. So I like the conversion to the up tilt. And got, it seems like it got a bit more off of the up tilt than he would have anything else. Okay. Flame Hunter Gito is trying to. I think he was trying to do the stage game. Yeah. It seems like it. Make, but, makes sense. Or even like setting up an offstage situation with the down throw would have been good there. Yeah, too. but unfortunately, I don't know. Did he seem like he went from right to left? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then T Day was able to mash out of time. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Down B to up smash. T Day is not happy about that. Yeah, and T Day, I, I actually thought he was just out of range of that. He was going to get the F smash, which probably would have killed Flame Hot Vegito's butt. And just out of range, and the down B connected. And now T Day. And, I mean, now T Day's on his last dog, so. Yeah, he has to be careful again. Okay. So I, just, I just hope something like last game doesn't happen to him this game, because <laughs> he, he got such a he has a good lead right now. He has, like, these F Smash reads and call offs, but he's just misspacing it ever so slightly and getting hit by, like, back air or down, down B in the other case. Okay, playing it really safe, already 140%. Oh. Oh, oh dang, he's Smash 4, though, oh. he's dead. Oh, oh man. Ooh, that, that move is so strong. <laughs> I, I feel like you should have lived, right? Should, I feel like you should have lived. I, I think I think a little bit of bad day was an influence of that one. Because he flew a little bit too fast, I think. Yeah. Yeah, especially someone's heavy dunk on center stage FD. And no, the tornado is strong, but I don't think it's that strong. Right. Okay, so we're going to be here in a game three situation. Are we saying same characters? I'm assuming so. Yeah, I don't think... It didn't seem like it was any, like, matchup in ex match experience on either end. They just kind of traded back and forth here right, and there. Right. Nothing seemed very hard for one side or the other. Yeah. So I wouldn't see any reason why to switch characters. Down tilt. All right. Ooh, big combo here. Wow, if that platform wasn't there, I feel like a backer into something else would have been, like, true. Man, the dog got the combos in this game, man. Yeah. I mean, he's fighting Gong Gong. But. It, it is, but still, he feels a lot more combo-oriented than he did in four. Smash 4, yeah. Because yeah. before you get like maybe a down throw, up air, back air. If you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> in this game, he's chaining up tilts, he's chaining up airs, chaining nears. Doing Mario stuff. Man. Pill to fair too. That is a terrifying combo. Yeah. Especially with how good pills are in this game now. Okay. So Flame Hot Vegito is trying to call out T-Day's movement with an S-Smash on Pulch. We'll whip and get thrown off stage. Ooh, I like the directional air dodge, but T-Day was waiting, and that is something we have not seen yet. The uh, back throw from Dr. Mario, very, very strong back throw. I believe yeah. it's the second strongest. I think so. I forget. Like that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was some questionable DI. But he <laughs> was at like 140, so that was yeah. sweet spot up B. Not too surprised about that one. Yeah, and it, it happened so quick, too. He, he just probably wasn't expecting to get yeah. hit in general. I mean, you don't. no one ever really expects just the, the random up B in the middle of like neutral, so. Yeah. Flaming off Vegito's though, gonna return it with that up smash. Ooh, almost catches it, but the directional air dodge to the left is gonna get him out of there. Oh, the nair. Oh, that was really good. He waited for the air dodge, knew it was coming. Okay, trying to catch him off guard with the tornado, but Flaming off Vegito's will be shielding that one at this time. So 30 damage from the up throw up air, but right now, Flaming off Vegito's at the ropes here on his second stock, the back. Oh, that, that was definitely DIN on that. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, that was 100% down in DIN. 
So the one thing I like that TD is doing is because Donkey Kong is so fat, I don't think he has a really good tech roll. So whenever he gets into a tech situation, instead of choosing for a meeple like a hard read punish with F smash or off smash, he goes for down smash to cover both options, tech in and out. Yeah. Donkey Kong being such a big body. But T Dave, I'm gonna close out that second stock here, and right now, uh, Flaming Hot Vegito needs an answer here. Off stage, double jump burn, but no trigger. Tries to get the down air, but throws it throws it on stage. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, so close. I, I definitely respect the effort there. Maybe if he just waited a little bit, just delayed it a tad bit, he would have got that up there. But just misspaced it. Tries to go for this edge guard here. Has a double jump. Oh, man. Maybe even like an F tilt, I feel like, or just something to. Down tilt probably would have killed yeah. him. Yeah. He lost. He had no double jump. And his up B isn't the best. Right. Bad up B, bad air drift. Yeah. So one thing, playing with Vegito's is. Very anti did to get this kill. He's kind of just throwing out these moves, hoping they connect. Yeah. And I feel like if he waited just a bit longer on some of these, he can might actually be able to get the kill. Yeah. Like early with that up air, and then he got him off stage. Woo! The drop zone down B, and T Day gonna end it off in a very stylish note there. And yeah, really good. Stuff. And we even saw like the, the the drop and the rise on that down B. Yeah. He has a lot of very little rise on that yeah. one now. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's so. kind of like he switched with Luigi, because Luigi doesn't really go anywhere with Tornado now, but Doc mm -hmm. actually goes pretty high for what yeah, he used to do. Doc jacked it, man. <laughs> like, give me that down B. Except it doesn't spike, but it just has absurd kill power, so yeah, it's like kind of kills at 50 off anyway. That horizontal knockback is ridiculous. No. Yeah. Because like, it was strong in Smash 4, but like, in this game, it got off the notch like quite a bit, and yeah. it is ridiculous how early that can kill. And so like, earlier in game one, he died at like what, like 120? Yeah, he died at 120. From like near center stage, I'm just like, wait. I'm I, I'm pretty sure bad DI was a factor in that, but that was still pretty early for someone as heavy as Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, for sure.